Alright, take two. Hello everybody on YouTube, this is Super Nintendo, and welcome back to another episode of Super Mario Odyssey. Last time, we got all the power moons in the Cascade Kingdom that we can currently obtain. This time, we are going to get most of the power moons in this kingdom, the Sand Kingdom. And uh, this is actually my second take of this episode because I had a little bit of recording trouble with my capture card because of course I did. But um, yeah, you know, at the very least I'm, because of that, I know where a good majority of these things are in this kingdom, so we can go after them with no trouble. Let's come over here. Place and slots. The Toastarana game that's winning worldwide fame. It's 10 coins to play. What do you say? A power moon can be won. Try it. It's fun. Oh, if it's fun. Yay! Slots away! game is honestly kind of loud, and I completely forgot about that. Um, so, to talk a little bit about one of the points against this game that many people have, many people believe that there are so many power moons in this game that it's really not, it really doesn't feel fun going after all of them. And... While I can understand where people come from, I personally don't think so. I think this game is so freaking fun that it's really fun just having something else to do. Something to go after. Especially when it doesn't take a whole lot of effort to go after some of these coins. Now we can go to the dark side of the moon! Wow, Cappy, way to spoil where we can go now. It's almost like you've played this game before. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, it's really kinda... I personally don't think it's really all that bad to have so many power moons in the game. Especially when it promotes, like... You know, it's kind of like in Super Mario 64. There are so many power power stars in that game. You know, that there's like 120, something like that, in the game. And there's really no real benefit to going after all of them. Because, like, you know, going after all of them just doesn't really get you a whole lot. You know, like, you only need, like, 70 of them in the game, and, like, you can straight up skip a whole lot of levels if you are going after certain ones, you know? So, why exactly is it so hard, so, such a bad thing to do that in this game? You know? I don't really get it. But, uh, anyway... Now that tangent is over. Um, I've actually been kind of under the weather a lot recently. Uh, like this is the first, well I guess the second video I'm recording after uh, being under the weather for so long. Like this is the first video of, second video rather, that I'm recording after uh, being bedridden for like two and a half weeks so it's just really not all that uh, you know I gotta settle back into being a commentator a commentator for this one for this power moon you really need the motion control to accelerate even more ah no ah damn it 
I'll see you guys when I get back over there. Alright. So, uh, one of the things I really, really like about this game is... Uh, Eh, whatever. I'll continue my point as I go over there. It doesn't take a whole lot of time to get over there anyway. Um, one of the things I really, really like about this game is the story. I know it's the same kind of story as every other main series Mario game. Bow Bowser kidnaps Peach, Mario must go save, but I love how it affects the other residents of the kingdoms, and you get to see how it affects them. Uh, come on, why can't I get up there? Why am I having so much trouble? I did this on my first try in the in the failed recording of this episode. Come on. But um, another thing, but also aside from how it affects the different residents, I like how Bowser is actually being much more aggressive, trying to stop Mario at every turn, rather than just having his minions do everything. Oh, no, 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 no! God damn it! You know, it really reminds me a lot of Sonic Adventure, because in that game, um, Eggman is trying to gather the seven Chaos Emeralds to, uh, feed them to, to the god of destruction, Chaos. And he is doing everything in his power to get them. He is doing everything in his power to be a thorn in Sonic's side. And Sonic has to... He starts getting more and more uh, desperate, I guess, finally, to to actually gain all of the Chaos Emeralds, you know? It's, it's pretty freaking cool. But here we have the Sphinx. And if I can get up here... Get on your back. Boink. Air. Mario, you're not a hat. <laughs> uh, that's just something that's really fun. Greetings, traveler, and to your hat as well. Can you answer my riddle? What does the thieving monster desire from this land? He wants a ring. You are correct. Perhaps that wasn't much of a riddle. Anywho, proceed. But if we come over here and talk to him again... Have you not been asked enough questions yet? Let us see how you do with this one. The one who gallops across the sand. How many coins are required to get on its back? Thirty. Hmm, yes, correct. You are a formidable one. And again? If you require questions, I have another. Let's see if you can answer a third time. The foreign visitor traveling by car. What stopped his journey? Ice. Well now, three correct answers. Well done, traveler. I have been saving this one. Answer me this. Atop the inverted pyramid. How many statues of the Sand Gallopers are there? Five. That's correct, but... Did you really know that? There were six, but one is gone, leaving five. Hmm. Did you guess? You guessed, didn't you? You're a guesser. <laughs> Persistent. Very well. It is time for the real test. This will be your final question. And no guessing! What is my name? Uh, I'm gonna say Rocky. Maybe it's King Boomy, I don't know. Um, I, I love the options here, though. Mr. Question Face. Suffix Wizard. Quiz Kitty. <laughs> Those are just... It's obviously Sphinx. <laughs> You got 
them all right? Everyone falls eventually, I suppose. Well done. Take this. But is it dangerous to go alone? <laughs> I have no more questions for you. Uh, I, I like this face. I like his questions. It's pretty funny. I like how they gave an inanimate hunk of stone so much personality. You know? I do kind of wish that they gave the... I am no good at quizzes. Do you say anything? No? You don't say anything. Oh well. Um, let's come over to this guy. I really hope I can do the voice I did for him last time. If I can't, I'll just put it on screen. No, no, no! My beautiful sheep! The three of them have escaped, and now I'll never get them back! I don't think that was the voice I did for them before. Um, I'll play the audio clip that I did before because I really like that that voice I did for him. I don't know how I did it, but when I did it, I was just cracking myself up. No, no, no! My beautiful sheep, the three, the three of them have escaped. Now I'll never get them back. What kind of voice was that? Turn your butt around. I'm gonna hit you with Cappy and flip you upside down. You'll never know what hit you. you go into another room or something, the the sheeps go back to their uh, spawn point. Thank you! <laughs> Herding sheep in the dunes. Alright, um... Let's come down here because there are some power moons we did not get in here because I was just after the purple coins. Um, there we go. Oh, I didn't want to be in you. Gross. Skull sign in the transparent maze. I really like how uh, tricky Nintendo got with the uh, with the power moons in these because there's a lot of them that are just kind of like wait that would give you a power moon and you really wouldn't think of it but it just kind of seems like okay there's just a sign here there's no sign in any of the other rooms so maybe it gives you a power moon if you throw Kathy on it you never know you know it, it's just kind of stupid stuff like that. They get very tricky. So, um, let's come over here. Alright, let's come through here. Hit me! Credit to you guys if you know what movie that's from. <laughs> you got a moon! I actually had a really close call with the uh, bullet bill uh, in this section in my little previous recording where, like, I was moving... I almost got, like, thrown into the purple void! Shit! 
Never. 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 Ah, shit. Dang it, Inklings, why do you put your purple ink all over the place? Actually, do they have purple ink in Splatoon? I don't I don't know if they do or not. I don't I think about it, I don't think they do. Maybe they do. I don't. I don't know. I haven't played. I don't know anything about Splatoon. Like I, I've seen Chugga Chrono Rights Let's Play, but I haven't played the game for myself. I have been playing a lot of Arms lately, though. Like that game is so much fun. Um, I played the free trial thing that they've been having the past couple of days, and the game is so much fun. Um, I do wish that the game. Uh, had, like, little intros for the different fighters. You know, I think that would be kind of cool. Maybe they have, like, uh, like, Ready to Rumble Boxing Round 2. That'd be kind of cool. You know. Um, uh, let's go through here. I don't feel like the need to uh, read his text because he just says the same thing we've heard before. So, uh, yep. Uh. And they're off. Uh. Yep. Run through her. We're in first place, mateys. I don't know why I make myself sound like a pirate. Oh, I actually got here faster than uh, in my previous recording. It was like 38 something. Ladies and pass, bro. Here's the prize, the power man. Another thing I would like to, um, see in arms is the characters actually kind of need to get a little beat up like they don't have to show blood or anything but they can show like their faces getting roughed up a little bit like bruises or swollen eyes or something so uh for one of the last power moons we're going to be getting this episode let's fall down here And if you can see that, there's a coin purse guy. And we want to grab him. And kill all these mummy, mummy toad things. At, at least I think they're supposed to be the, the mummy, like mummy versions of toads. Because like, they don't look like Koopas. Or, uh, Goombas, because, like, Goombas don't have arms. Let me kill you. Ah! Under the Mummy's Curse. Alright. I think that'll do it for this episode. So, next time on Super Mario Odyssey. We're going to get the remaining 24 power moons left in this kingdom. Uh, what was that? I don't know what that was. I, oh, that was, was that a bullet bill? Did a bullet bill somehow make its way all the way over here? Oh, okay. Well, I think that'll do it. So, see you guys next time. Ugh, it's so cold.